Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101 and uh, today we're going to be looking at my destroyed building generator. This is a procedural post-apocalypse building generator that I've just made. Uh, it's already available on my Blender Market page. My Patreon page, all links are going to be in the description. For any of you who want to make it on your own using geometry nodes, here is a quick breakdown of how I made it. So what you're going to do is start with a subdivided mesh, preferably with this type of subdivision. You can use the decimate modifier. You want to create vertex groups for the window, doors, and a combination of windows and doors. Then create a grid in geometry nodes and subdivide it a few times. These are going to be our rooms. And then duplicate this to become our floors. Extrude the original grid so that we can get our walls. And duplicate this so that all the floors have walls. These are not our final walls, so just turn them in two points so that we can instance the real walls we want to use. Now you can texture the wall and randomize the instance. Make sure to add the building flow or slabs back to the building. Add noise to all the instances and delete vertices that are inside that noise. Then extrude the walls and you have a damaged building. Yeah, I know this is an oversimplified overview, but this took me a few days to make, so it would take me a few days to explain. But anyone who have uh, who has an understanding of geometry nodes would figure out how to do this stuff. And I've done a lot of tutorials uh, about all of the things I've shown here, so it shouldn't be very hard to understand. Anyway, let's jump into how this building generator works. Thank you. First of all, I'm going to remove the leaves here, uh, the vines, by just unchecking that. And uh, you can see we have some debris and uh, we have the building itself. I can make it wider by just changing the building length. And I uh, just look at that. We now we have lost some of the walls. So I can come in here to the number of walls on the Y and uh, just increase that to add in more walls and uh, get reduce that ga the gaps here. You can see we have a really, really dense uh, building with some broken windows, debris, wires, uh, these rebar and uh, a lot of other things. So if uh, the debris is too much for you, you can always, uh, this is just the window density. I can bring that up to have more broken windows just like that. You can see even the glass is broken uh, and uh, randomly broken. It's not the, the same window everywhere. So I'm going to bring that density down. Now, if you want to change the damage, you can always play with the damage settings here. So the damage size, uh, if I reduce it to one, you can see we barely have any damage. You have the interior and uh, you, you have doors. You can, you can see a lot of the detail is still there. And if I bring this to 20, you get the damage. You can change the seed. So if we set it to one, you get a different Sort of damage so i can duplicate this shift d and you can see this this setup is quite light that uh, my viewport is still quite responsive so i'm just going to increase the height of the building let's say to eight and maybe reduce uh, the roughness of the damage so that uh, the damage is, uh, is more clean and just like that and you can play with the C, let's use 100. And uh, I'll be updating this setup uh, to add more detail. Just bring it aside, rate it 180. Maybe make the height, let's do, let's do two. And uh, let's make it wide. So uh, that's going to be the width. Let's make it maybe 20. And uh, increase the X walls, let's say to 15 maybe, that's too much, let's say 10. And, uh, you can duplicate this, I'm just going to put it above here and just reduce the, I think that would be the length to four, so that is, it's not as wide and you can start even stacking uh, the buildings uh, to make a completely different type of building. Uh, we have too many walls, so I'm going to use maybe five I don't like the damage, so I'm going to just increase the damage si or reduce the damage size to 10. Let's say, let's try 30. You can play with the scale. There's just a ton of settings you can use. You can also go to the materials and take a look at some of the materials I, I used. Uh, you can switch out the textures. So 
So this is the damage, extra damage you see on the walls. We have the wire, the wire materials, uh, the metal rust, that's for the river, windows, uh, leaves, stems. Um, here's the material for the floor. I uh, can see this is the material for the inside walls. So you can adjust that, give that a different, a different color. If you want each building to have a different color, you can use the, the object info, the object info node and just connect the random color to the current color and uh, use a hue and saturation. Uh, this should be the, the hue. So if I give this a different color, maybe something like this, you can see that uh, some of the buildings start to get a different color. The interiors start to get a different color. I can even use a math node here, just with a multiply to amplify the effect. So see the interiors, uh, maybe they are too saturated, so I can just, yeah, something like that. Yeah, this can be as detailed as you want. Ah, and you can see here, I set up a quick test of a post-apocalypse scene with a few buildings. Yeah, just duplicating just a few of these and uh, placing a ground, some roads and... Yeah, so if you want to check this out, uh, you can get it as a Patreon or my Gumroad on the Blender Market.